If you enjoy chicken, bacon, ranch, and pasta, and you're looking for a delicious way to combine them all, I've got the perfect solution for you here. This is my chicken bacon ranch pasta, creamy and delicious, and comes together in a snap. So if you're looking for a quick, healthy weeknight dinner that's really gonna satisfy, and you wanna see how this is made, stick around, cause it's coming up next. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name's Roy. I'm a home cook and amateur baker, and I'm here on this channel sharing recipes that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds, whether those recipes are mine or someone else's. Now today is one of mine, and it is my take on a chicken bacon ranch pasta. I know there's all sorts of recipes for different chicken bacon ranch type of things, I am doing a pasta because it comes together pretty quickly, so it makes a great weeknight dinner. And I am using regular pasta. I'm using Prince pasta, but if you want to use like fiber gourmet or something with a lower bite or point value, go right ahead and do it. I've just gotten away from using fiber gourmet, even though I love it just because it is a little too pricey for me. So I'm going with regular pasta and the rest of the dish isn't really going to add too many bites or points to make that a problem. So let us go over the ingredients. I have here one pound of chicken breast and I've cut it up into one inch cubes. What I did was cut it through the middle, then sliced across to make all of the cuts. If you have thinner breasts, you don't have to cut through the middle, just cut them into about one inch cubes. It doesn't have to be precise. You could, if you wanted, even use rotisserie chicken or cook your chicken breast ahead of time and shred it. You could do that in here as well. You would just have to add it later than I'm going to add it, obviously. Here I have eight ounces of pasta. As I said, it's just regular Prince pasta, nothing special. I have here one cup of fat-free cottage cheese that I have pureed. That is typically what I do in place of fat-free ricotta. For one, fat-free ricotta is a little challenging to find at times, and I can find fat-free cottage cheese much more easily. But there is a, also a slight bite or point difference. Not really much that it would affect the entire dish, but since it's difficult to find, I just take cottage cheese, I process it in a food processor, and I get the same consistency and none of the texture, because if you've been following me at all, you know I'm a texture eater and the cottage cheese texture, I can't do it. But pureed like ricotta, not a problem. I have here four slices of center cut bacon and I have cut those in half lengthwise and then cut them into about half inch pieces across so that I have little bits that I'm going to be cooking up. Here I have one small onion that's been minced. Now, when you mince an onion, it's a little smaller than a dice. Usually I do a very small dice and then just run the blade across it to chop things up a little more finely. Just small bits of onion. You don't want big chunks of it necessarily in this dish. Here I have one quarter cup of almond milk. That's at room temperature, as is the fat-free cottage cheese, because I'm going to be adding it to a hot pan. So I want it as close in temperature as I can to the pan so that it doesn't end up curdling. But you could also replace that quarter cup of almond milk with a quarter cup of chicken broth. But at the end, you may decide that you want your sauce a little bit thinner. You can just add another splash or two of almond milk or chicken broth if you change it up. The chicken broth will just dilute the dairy flavor of the dish, but it would still be fine. I have here one tablespoon of minced garlic. That is about three cloves if you prefer to mince it yourself. And here I have four teaspoons of ranch seasoning mix. That is divided because part of it is going to go on the chicken, part of it is gonna go into the sauce later. So it's divided one tablespoon here and one teaspoon here. I also have a half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. 
Those are all the ingredients that you need. You really don't need much. I'm going to get my pasta water heated up and start cooking that. And we're going to get started with the bacon. So I will be right back. Okay, so before I start with the bacon, I'm just going to combine my teaspoon of ranch seasoning with the salt and pepper and just combine that with a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm just going to coat my chicken breast with it. Toss that around to coat all of the chicken breast with that seasoning. Okay, now I'm gonna set this aside and now I'm going to start the bacon. You wanna start your bacon in a cold pan. You don't want it to be hot because what would happen is once it gets in there, it's gonna to start to seize up because the heat is going to make it contract and you don't want tiny little bits. You want this to slowly render. So I'm putting it in a cold pan and then turning it on over medium high heat. And I'm gonna cook this until it is nice and brown and crispy. So I'll be back. Okay, so the bacon is just about done and I'm stirring it frequently so that it doesn't start to burn. If your burner is too hot, then you definitely want to turn it down from medium high, but medium high works for me. I'm going to drain the bacon on some paper towels here, so that way it has time to crisp up as it's sitting here. Okay, and I'm going to set this aside. And what I'm going to do is going to remove all but one tablespoon of the oil in here, of the bacon grease. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon, measure that out, and add that to a little bowl here. And then I'm gonna take a paper towel and some tongs and clear out the rest of that grease. We don't want any more than what we need, which is a tablespoon. And from what I've heard, the grease is supposedly counted in the bites, points, and calories. So I'm okay with using a little bit of it. You just don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna add the bacon grease back in along with the onions. And we're just gonna cook the onions until they soften. And since they are minced, it's only gonna take about two or three minutes. So I'm going to bring my chicken back in. And my pasta is finished. I have it over here resting in a pot in the strainer on top. And I did spray it a little bit with cooking spray just so it wouldn't end up sticking together. So if you have to hold pasta for any length of time, just give it a little spray and you won't get those big clumps of pasta. All right, so the onions have softened and they're getting a little bit of color. So I'm gonna spread those out to the edges and add in our chicken breast. And now this is going to cook about five to seven minutes. You wanna keep stirring it as it cooks, but usually for the first minute or so, I just let it sit here and get some nice color. Then I will flip it, get some color on the other side, and then just keep tossing it fairly frequently so it doesn't scorch. But give me five to seven minutes and we're gonna move on. All right, so it's been about seven minutes. What I usually do to make sure that the chicken is cooked through is I will find one of the larger pieces in here and just cut through it, make sure it's cooked, and it is. So now what I need to do is turn off the heat. Everything that really needs cooking, cooking is in here and is ready to go. But what I'm gonna add now is my garlic and stir that through. And I'm just gonna cook this for about 30 seconds until it is fragrant and has had a chance to mellow a little bit. You don't wanna get that sharp, bitter garlic taste. And the other reason we wanted the heat turned off was because we're now gonna add in our cottage cheese or ricotta, whichever you're using, and almond milk and the ranch seasoning, the one tablespoon. Because the cottage cheese has no fat in it and you don't want it to get too cooked you're gonna just add it in now while the pan is still hot. And that way the ricotta or cottage cheese that you're using can still warm up. And as I said, this is at room temperature. So it's going to incorporate a little more easily. And we're going to add in the almond milk and sprinkle over the rest of the ranch seasoning. And we're just going to stir this through. And it may look a little liquid right now, but you also have to remember the pasta is gonna be going in and soaking up a lot of that. So it won't be until you've added the pasta that you'll see if you need to add maybe a splash more 
of the almond milk or not. Now one thing I will mention so you don't think that you're doing something wrong, the fat-free cottage cheese is kind of like you can see little specks of it throughout. That's fine, that is normal, that's not anything to worry about, so don't think that it curdled because you're seeing little specks. That's just exactly what it's going to look like. All right, so I'm going to take my pasta and add that in, and because I sprayed it, it should break apart easily enough to get in here and mixed with the sauce. So you're just gonna toss that to coat everything. And then we can't forget the other star of the show that I have hiding over here, the bacon. You wanna have that bacon chicken ranch. You gotta add the bacon. So I'm gonna add that in and stir that through. And you could, if you wanted, you could add some broccoli to this or some peas or something to get some veggies in there or just serve something on the side. There you have it. It is that quick and easy. A half an hour, 40 minutes, have dinner on the table. Can't beat that. And you can't beat the bites and points that I'm going to be giving you. And if you use a different pasta than I use, you can lower the bites and points. The sauce alone with the bacon is only going to be two better balanced bites or old blue points, but two for that and then whatever pasta you're using. Now you could also serve this with rice. It doesn't have to be pasta, but I am doing it as pasta. And for one serving of this, which is one quarter of the pan, it is going to be only eight Better Balance Bites or Old Blue Points. I'm on the Healthy Better Balance Plan, which is equivalent to the old WW Blue Plan, which is basically their current simplified plan. So somewhere within there, you can gauge where your bites and points would be. And if you are following calories, the calories for one fourth of this is only going to be 400 calories. And if you were following macros, the fat would be 5.8 grams. The carbs would be 48.8 grams. The fiber would be 2.3 grams. And the protein would be 36 grams. Again, using what I'm using. If you are using whole wheat pasta, that'll alter things. Any kind of change you make obviously could change bites, points, and calories, and macros. So just input it as you're doing it in your recipe builder. Now this can be stored in the fridge for about five days or so, or you can freeze it if you are doing meal prep. You can double up on this, and you can store it in the freezer for about three to four months. So it's definitely something that you can meal prep and get ready ahead of time. But if you enjoyed this recipe and this video, I'd appreciate you doing the usual like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that notification bell for the next time I upload any sort of video. So hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted whenever anything's going on with this channel. If you would like the recipe for this, it will be linked directly down in the description box below. Also down there is the link to my blog itself if you're looking for any of my recipes or just want to explore and see what other recipes I have available. Also down there you'll find my Amazon storefront, my Built by Rewards, Fetch Free Rewards, Skinny's Hairs Code, and my social media if you'd care to follow me over there. I have Instagram and two Facebook groups that I am part of. So check out that description box for all sorts of information. And if you're not sure how to open up the description box under the title of this, you'll see some words and you'll see at the end, show more or more. Just click that and it opens up the description box. All right, so I think it is time for me to get dinner on the table. And I hope that you'll be enjoying some of this yourself very soon. So until next time, bye.